Oh no, that's public humiliation. That is finest. Hey, I'm DJ Devonte. This is Jesse. This is Andrew. This is Nick. And today I'm gonna be watching Big Mouth season six, episode one. Season six, episode one. Here we go, baby. I can't get Bernie Sanders off my mind. Technically speaking, it was implied last season that they weren't going to see each other again and that she was going to go back to her family. So I don't know why he's dwelling on that because I kind of just assumed that that was a one time romance. I think it's the pregnancy <laughs> hormones and maybe this. Wait, a hormone monster has. Hormones, that's weird. Yes, people really need to watch the spin-off? Yeah, they yeah. watched it. You, you didn't watch uh -huh. it. I can't watch shows with my friends. Human Resources is a good show. It's slightly different, but it's a good show. I advise you watch it. Maury and Connie did get pregnant, and Connie was saying that she doesn't want the baby. But I want to see this baby. And I want to see... Even if Connie doesn't want to be part of the baby's life, I want to see this baby. But you know what? It's Big Mouth. You can't take too much on this show seriously. Other than when there are serious moments. Get out there and shovel the driveway before it stops snowing. This is the thing. You when you're a parent, some? you can... Exactly. That's what Andrew was about to say. When you're a parent, because you have children, making your children do stuff for you is cheaper than hiring someone. You're my snow plow. I already pay you with dinner. <laughs> Brittany. Dinner. I am in the rights to call social services on you because dinner is... Something that you owe your child for bringing them into this world, okay? Fuck Britney and fuck these board games. <laughs> Maury's hormones are making him a little bit mood swingy, you know? Feels like a million years since Jay's long tongue was in my mouth. Mm hmm. Okay, so they're in that sort of relationship where. Okay, this is interesting. Jay is with Matthew and now he's fantasizing about kissing Jay. Okay. I just want to see him so bad. It makes me want to. Then go see him. Who's stopping you? It makes me want to sing. Oh, yeah, he's a singer, isn't it? Every hour's like a million years. Oh, that's really cool. I love that. Um, I love that visual there. Just the snow and the smoke coming out the chimney. That's really cool. My parents' every loving utterance is like a dagger plunging into my ear. Yeah, but who wouldn't like that? He's got two loving parents. Weird, but loving. Endless baking. Yeah, but Missy, isn't that what you like about your parents? The fact that they're always baking pies and stuff. Like, you love them, come on. You're like me, you're a black child that acts white. Witless morons driving me up the wall. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Nick Crow. I know the whole cheese stuff is like a running gag on this show. But come on, you don't need to put cheese everywhere because sooner or later, you're going to get me sick of cheese. Sad. Wait, who the f*** is that? I mean, I know it's Big Mouth and like, you can't expect to watch a show and be surprised by this sort of scene behind Jay. But we're like literally not even two minutes in and... There's a man fucking a woman. Cause I'm so horny. I mean, they're younger than me. This show normalizes teenage, tween ages feeling these things. It's not like we're always feeling that, you know? Let children be children. I've always thought Matthew is like an old soul in a young body. I need to suck some face. Wait, it's like Garfield in Big Mouth. That's cool. <laughs> Funny. I gotta blow some steam. Nick, you already blew your steam for a whole damn season. What more steam do you need to blow? Shove your bum in everyone's face? I'm so <laughs> I'ma just take it as their use of the word horny really translates to more. Let's just say that. I'm going through changes in my life. I'm going through changes. Oh. Okay, let's do this. He's even hotter than I remember. Matthew! It's weird to see Jay drooling over... Sorry, I keep getting their names mixed up. It's weird to see Matthew drooling over Jay like this. <laughs> okay, we get it. You like each other. People always talk about how, like, it's weird to have a short man and a tall woman in a relationship. But y you don't really think about the gay relationship. There's one tall and there's one short sometimes and... It's a bit weird, but eh, they like each other. Uh, Bernie's like a female version of Andrew, the way their personalities are just so... They are so similar. It's like Bernie is a female Andrew from another universe. I'm like it? becoming a big <coughs> studly man too. I mean, Nick, you're shorter than me. I'm 16 years old and I'm 5 foot 2. So don't try to call yourself big man. But you know we love you. You know, you're short, but we love you. 
People chat on his people. Yeah, Rick is still a little weirdo. I'm gonna text Bernie right now. Dear Sugar Puss. <laughs> this the script. Whoever's writing the script. Yeah, is this how you think teenage boys talk? Like no one says Sugar Puss. No one. Wait, Maury, are you smoking? Naughty, naughty, Maury, you're having a baby and you're smoking. Who does that? That's how I ended up the way I ended up. Oh, yeah, for hormone monsters, smoking is... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it makes it's you off. Okay, well, some stupid person's gonna watch the show, which is why it's an 18 plus, and be like, okay, if Maury's smoking while he's pregnant and he's saying the baby's gonna be fine, why don't I? We could go back to your place and I could shovel your driveway. Mm, you're not being very discreet, are you? It's one thing to come out to my devout family. It's a whole other thing to bring my boyfriend home. Oh. Okay, so Matthew Clee doesn't regret dumping Aiden and Jay seems to be happy with this new relationship so cool time to rub their faces in it no my mom and I are finally talking again I don't want to rock the boat Jay maybe we could find a more private place to hook up wait isn't your home meant to be the most private place you can find lay yeah. you down on a bed of denim and worship your body for free you're 13 years old one of the reasons that they got Valand Nick's sister to make love is because they're older, you know, you're too young for that stuff. I can tolerate you kissing, but nothing more than that because you're like children. I bet you think it bothers me that Jay picked Matthew over me. Uh. Okay, I heard that she's cutting bangs, cutting her hair this season, but what, what's the what's the need for this? What happened to your bangs? Oh my god, thank you. It's the new year, so it's a new me. New year, new me. I too am as horny as my bangs are long. We twins. I grew out my <laughs> bangs too. My nose bangs. Coach Steve is such a man child. It's weird seeing him with a mustache. Because that's a manly thing, you know? I and mean, then he had that bad mitten. But even though Steve is such a nice guy, he obviously sometimes holds in what he really feels. And the bad mitten was just a way to unbottle all of his negative feelings. I like that Jesse and Missy are friends again because for one, they are from two different races and they're getting along. So that's one good thing that the show is representing. And for two, it's like their friendship because Jesse's just a nice girl having issues. Missy is a black girl who's finally kind of starting to understand her identity and culture more. She changed her hair, which looks nice. And yeah, they're just two good supporting friends. And plus what they went through last season, the, the whole argument situation could have been avoided, but I guess Jessie was distracted by her own friendship with Ali to realize that the affinity meetings mean a lot to Missy. So obviously Jessie behaving the way she did towards the affinity meetings got Missy upset. But like I said, she was distracted by her friendship with Ali until the point where she actually did end up apologizing for how she was acting like an asshole. <laughs> A man. <laughs> oh, I thought I was. I just saw Nick and Judd in the car, so I thought that Judd just threw Nick out of the car. He's too old for me. Even though obviously they're not making this show to communicate messages to people, at least they're communicating that relationships should be age appropriate. Hey, Jesse, who's that dirty little Danish over there? Him? That is the f asexual character. I read about this. Apparently, big mouthy creators they listen to critics and what people have to say about the show and people were saying that they wanted an asexual character so they decided to add an asexual character if you don't know what asexual means asexual means you're not sexually attracted to anybody he can't be an extra we're talking about him yeah what's his deal too much mail today i'm sorry marty <gasps> maury bernie sanders replied to my text she wants to okay cool okay 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 he's not calling her baby or anything i've always said if i end up getting a girlfriend or boyfriend no i'm joking that i would call her by her name and I wouldn't call her baby and stuff. But Andrew, come on. Just call her by her name. You don't need to say her full name. Where do you think you're going, you <laughs> number one pervert? Oh, I think... I mean, he's not lying. He's a bit of a perv. He's our perv. We love you, Andrew, for being a little perv. Like taking candy from a baby. I think I might have left the light on in the garage. You do Go! Get out of here! I mean, obviously, when you're shouting like, Go! Get out of here! People are not going to be want to be around you. So come on, be nicer. And people want to be around you. They're not going to be attracted to your personality when you're always and letting off that energy that vibe taking candy from a baby <laughs> ultimate boner achieve i feel like the relationship was a little bit rushed but you know what i'd rather have plot progression in the show than have no plot progression in the show requires oh no far, far. oh lord i would pray if i was them me being the naughty boy that I am, I was watching a little bit of a reaction of season 6 before I started this, and I saw this bit, so I know that they survive. But he is one badass. Where are we gonna hook up now? <laughs> At your house. I was saving those for our one month.
birthday anniversary. That's a weird name, Boner Boys. Hey, Andrew. Hey, twin sister. Except they're not siblings. I can't stop thinking about the last time we were together. We came so close to fondling mm -hmm. each other's breasts. Yep, I yes, remember. That's exactly what I was gonna say. Mm -hmm. The fact that Andrew has breasts should freak me out, but it doesn't. Maybe we should try again right now. It's virtual, like it's not the same thing. Oh, I like it. Oh. I mean, yeah, I know the show's weird, but come on, who really, who really felt like Netflix was paying them enough to animate this sort of weird scene? I mean, I liked it during the episode, I feel like they're dragging out the whole thing, but you know what, let me just enjoy the fact that Andrew's not talking about touching himself and he's actually in a relationship. I guess this is what he needed, I guess he needed some company, I guess he needed an actual experience of being in a relationship so he could unbottle all of those horny feelings even if it means pinching your breasts on video call because this little whore is just <laughs> getting started oh no if my mum had ever tuned in on a video call and i was doing this i'd be like i'd run away to iraq or ukraine andrew what is happening <coughs> mom uh, just keep going we'll deal with the fallout later no maury what's wrong with you you're about to have a child and you're telling this boy who just got caught by his mum touching himself to so just no no come on come on maury come on there's a limit there's a limit to horniness. That's it. Oh, we can't trust you with your own penis. Don't tell me you're gonna stab him. Your pecker or your door. One of them's getting removed. The door. The goddamn door. The door. door, the door. door. <laughs> See if you like <laughs> yourself with an audience. Oh yeah, he quite enjoys that. Yes. I'm sure it wouldn't really make a difference, but you go ahead. No, you wanted me to find a new hookup place, and this is perfect. It's I mean, to be fair, a lot of the scenes are done here because you know it's dark, it's undisturbed. There's Hugh Kellington, you know, so it's a pretty good place. Even last season, Jay and Lola, when they were spending time together, they were in the attic because, like I said, it's secured, it's closed off. Jay Zarian, Rick Flary, and <laughs> Bill Zarian. Oh, Hugh Kellington! My dad actually considers me to be a virus. <laughs> Uh, I mean, Jay's not a virus, but he is a little bit impulsive. Let's just say that. Oh, I'm not some creep. I'm gonna go watch Elliot and I mean, let's put this into perspective. Drew Kennington, yeah, in an attic with two 13 to 14 year old boys about to kiss. So, if you were to watch that, you'd be more than a creep. You'd be bloody Jeffrey Dahmer. So, okay, okay, wrong, wrong example. But if you were to stay there and watch two 14 year old boys kissing. That would be very weird, and that would be saying something about your mental health. What do you think? Pretty great, huh? Well, it's either this stinky attic or your mom's Jesus-y house. Well, you can figure out where my dad went and go follow him there. Oh, wait, even I can't figure out where he is. So how did I expect you to find it? I can make this work. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, it's just something weird about two... It's not the fact that they're boys, because you know what? If they like each other, they like each other. Like, it's got nothing to do with me, but... It's just something about two animated boys kissing, which is just a bit not normal, but okay, I've seen weirder, like Euphoria. Hooked up at my house? Oh yeah, baby. I also watched you sleep. I generally thought that when Jay decides to do these things in Nick's house that he would alert Nick beforehand, but I guess he's just considers Nick's attic as one of his hangout spaces and not part of Nick's house. Jay's locker is a mess. I live in England, right? So we don't get lockers in our colleges or whatever. I mean, the beauty students do, but I personally don't. And I always, obviously, just thought it went without saying that if I was to have a locker, it would be clean. Jay should not be allowed a locker if he can't keep it clean and tidy. Hook up with Bernie. Your psycho dad won't be there with his castrating screwdriver. But what are you going to be doing? Just pinching each other's nipples for five hours. I don't want anyone hooking up in my house. If okay, I'm not everyone's gonna hear that and they're gonna get the idea to hook up in his house because he said he clearly doesn't want people hooking up in his house. That's just how children are. They'll hear you're not allowed to do this and they'll just do it for the sake of breaking the rule. It's like a principal saying, okay, you know one's allowed to graffiti the toilets. Everyone's gonna graffiti the toilets just to go against what she said. Missy, there he is. Little Mel Gibson. I mean, I'm glad that Missy's not really fixated over the fictional character. Which I'm not saying is unhealthy, but he's not real. And the fact that she's starting to crush on real boys. But I really think that Devon is a better choice given that this guy's asexual. Even though Missy doesn't know, but I'm sure but she's about to find out. Oh, oh, 
Oh. I'm sorry, uh, I'm Missy, and your name is, tell me now your name. <laughs> I feel like even though he's asexual, they're going to have like a platonic relationship and just bond over life. Elijah, I just moved here from Virginia. Oh, I like his voice. Oh, Virginia. That sounds like vagina. And vagina is for lovers. I gotta be somewhere, so see you around, Missy. Where do you think he's going? <laughs> Probably to fix something with his shirt off. <laughs> Other characters in the show fantasize about other people, but usually Missy just fantasizes about that guy, that fictional guy. For once, she's fantasizing about real people, so I'm happy for her. It's part of her character growth. Aha, you're pathetic. <coughs> your friends are all hooking up in your house. Uh huh, and Jod, you're aware that Jesse is crushing over you, a uh, overaged guy, and it doesn't seem to bother you. I guess you're just doing your thing and you don't really give a <coughs> about what's going on with other people. I didn't have my first kiss until I was 24. Uh huh, and I'm not gonna have mine until I'm 25. I remember when I was your age, Tim Pellegrin had the hookup house. <laughs> he French so many girls, they had a PTA meeting about him. Imagine teachers at your school find out that you're kissing people. They hold a whole meeting just to figure out ways to stop you from kissing people. Oh, well, of course he has abs. Say I was in the exposition and I had a fancy about inviting people to my hookup house i wouldn't give myself abs i'd just give myself some height <laughs> but obviously nick wants to have sexy abs. i mean he's always been calling himself big <laughs> boy so of course he's gonna be give making himself look good a three-way make out with me. and there's the weird child couple no nick make out with me first no nick we have called them ali since when was nick interested in ali even in a fantasy it's a bit odd and them two girls father johan i don't think you should be letting any girls that have confronted father johan near you mm. Uh, oh, doesn't it crawl with us as a bit of a limit to what you can show? Whose dick is rotting now? What? What? Rick, what? You, you've been moving weird since season five, but now you're just... You need to go to a mental institution. Good morning, Bridgeton Middle. Good morning, Matthew. We have an exclusive with a student who saw Ms. Benitez at a laundromat. What's so deep about seeing a teacher at a laundromat? I thought she was going to be something more like kissing her new boyfriend. A word from our sponsors. Are you a local child? The fact that they had to find an excuse to talk about this hookup house more through sponsorship. I don't know, it's a bit weird. I'm loving the dressing gowns that they're wearing and the lighting. It's the sort of lighting that I need for my setup. The hookup house. Hook, up. hook me up with the hookup house when you can. This how Lola gets her groove. Lola, you look good, girl. Where the sex is infection. Your children, stop talking about sex. If you're not there, you're a total <laughs> fucking loser. 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 I mean, I already knew I was a loser, but okay. Yeah, I saw the commercial. <laughs> Is that the kind of stuff you guys normally have on your morning announcements? You're pretty stand- Not really, no. I hear it's insectious. Insectious. Oh, get the fuck <laughs> away from me, Andrew! Wait, I swear they were a couple once. I think? I mean, yeah, because they're both kind of nerds. I mean, yeah, I'm pretty sure they were a couple, and then they went through this whole thing of- I can't remember, but- as far as I remember, they were a couple. Pretty sure they were a couple at some point, and then eventually they just grew apart. I don't ever want to see Andrew touching himself in that way again. I don't want to see his boobs up close. Okay, I mean, I'm not gonna act like I haven't done that before. Everyone's there. Usually with these shows, right, they don't really, not really allowed to use actual apps in these shows because it's technically infringement. Picture it in your tiny mind. You're hot. But you're sure. I need you to stand on my grandmother's dead skull so I can tongue your throat. Okay. George, she's a child! Oh. Okay, I know that it's just his fantasy, but this is just wrong. Alright, I'm in, cuz you are. Right. <laughs> Same, cuz you are. Ladies! You bum! Mm -hmm. You see each other as, as an excuse, I see. Lemonade, chapstick, you might need a later. Why is he a waiter? That's probably gonna just make them feel awkward that someone's dad is. There. <laughs> okay, she's dressed up lovely. Enjoy your hookup culture, everybody. This would never happen in my household. I don't know if it's because I'm in a back family, but this is how you know it's a show. He's converted his attic into a hookup area where he is inviting other people. Maybe if you cut your bangs, you could actually see where you're going. Jay, why did you invite all these people to our hookup spot? Yeah, he didn't really. Like I said, it's Nick's house, so... He obviously saw an opportunity. But why is it all of a sudden that he's got the idea to turn this into a hookup house? Like, he didn't do it season 5, 4, 3, 2, or 1. It's happened now. Hmm. 
It's a bit strange, don't you think? First off, I love, love, love the row, but I thought we were gonna get freaky, and there's all- <laughs> Okay, cool, I get that you want to, like, obviously video call with her since you can't be with her in person, but you could have dressed up the mannequin a bit better. Come on, Andrew. Wait, I just realized something. The fact that Bernie is basically a female Andrew, does that mean she's as big as a perv as he is? Well, that she touches herself as much as he does. You see, I feel weird talking about them in this way because they're younger than me. But let me just remember this is a show and I'm commentating. Hey, I'm Luke Skywalker. Wanna be my sister? Oh, no. Please don't call Bernie your sister. That just makes it weird, man. Oh, yeah, that's right. Because, yeah, 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 that's right. Just remember to Luke and the blonde girl in Star Wars are siblings and they're also in a romantic relationship. How am I supposed to hook up if everyone's hiding in the corner? I waited a year for this. Lola's hair is long to the point where she can't see properly. Nick is turning his attic into a hookup house. Jay and Matthew are together, which I'm more happy with, but I mean, at the moment it just seems like there's they just thought up some wacky ideas and animated it, but I guess as the season will go on, there will be actually some actual plot development. Oh, ready to fall down in that closet, and I'll show you my little lump of coal. Rick, come on. You can't be so bad to the point where you can't find another hormone monster to hook up with. To the point where you have to go to a tree. A tree! A flipping piece of wood with green bits. With, with leaves, sorry. Come on, come on, come on. Rick, you can do better. If my commentating is a bit weird, it's because this show is weird to the point where even trying to commentate it is going to be a little bit difficult. But I'm doing my best. I'm assuming he was taken by a creep to Europe. <laughs> I mean, I can understand why Andrew didn't tell his mum that he was going to the hookup house. I mean, at least she's a caring mum. At least she, like, you know, she cares about him enough to the point where if she can't find him, she actually shows concern. <laughs> But I wanted to check with you first. Andrew's fine, Barbara. He's here at our hookup house. Hookup house? What? Oh, the <laughs> oh, no, you shouldn't have told them. Andrew's father's gonna humiliate him in front of everyone. It's a susu party. Unmitigated depravity. Cocaine. Squirting. No, what the fuck? <laughs> There's definitely no drugs and stats. You've unleashed a monster on this town, Barbara. Oh, God. And now we must kill it. The monster being Andrew, of course. Can't we just cut off his hands? Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, okay. I guess when you compare that to, to killing him, that is the better option. Oh, oh God. Mm. Woof. This is... Yeah, the vibe is just not there. And Elijah isn't even here. Maybe because he's asexual, Missy. Let's go hunting for Judd's dick. Ooh, good call. This is the first episode. Hello, Maurice. Hello, Constance. But you're really telling me that he's pregnant with her baby and they haven't seen each other. Mm. I see you're still fat with child. <laughs> It's called pregnancy, Connie. You put it in him. Which is weird because, I mean, I'm surprised that the fact that men aren't the ones that give birth or grow the child is women in r the real world. But surprisingly, I'm not surprised because it's big mouth. I'm not surprised that when giving birth is the men and not the women. This party sucks. Next time you throw a sex party, be sure to include the sex. I guess technically it is a hookup house, but I still feel like they're too young for sex. I thought by 8.30 I'd be tongue deep in someone else's throat. Well, that's curious because my throat has been searching for a tongue. No, 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 no. I will not have Nick and Lola hooking up. That's just... No. I mean, it might be interesting to see how another relationship in the show would work. Okay, Bernie. This one you'll... <laughs> there she is, just looking like... What's going on? Uh, doy, I want to eat his silver hair. Pretty woman. Whoa, mama. Jump. Okay, so now she's going to dress her up. I wouldn't mind seeing your plumpy rumpy in that hot little sex worker's uniform. This is not how I imagined their relationship being. It's like a mixture of platonic and horniness. Oh, yeah, he's going to wear it. I saw this in the trailer. <laughs> My heart is racing. So she went from fantasizing about him to actually pursuing him. Um, hello? Oh, oh shit. I never considered Judd, the badass that he is, being in a relationship. I didn't imagine Judd having a girlfriend. I just thought he was like a, a lone wolf. There we go. Some little girl. Are you okay, honey? Uh, Do you know your mommy's phone number? <sighs> honey. Technically, she is let little. But wait, wait, no, because she's like 12 and she's at 17. And maths-wise, 12 and 17 aren't that far apart. But development-wise, I guess their age gap is quite big. Oh, hey. 
oh yeah of course judd being the guy that he is he's gonna be with a gal that has piercings etc you know rock vibes jesse oh my god is this klepto baby yeah klepto baby i never thought i'd see jesse in a nappy connie oh she, connie's so cute as a baby i'm in the bath in the dirty oh i love how connie says bubble bear oh and jesse looks so cute as a baby and then there's just judd's diane and thing looking at them <laughs> The animate, like, I know for a fact that, that people animating this show are having so much fun with the animations, because just look at it. Mama, I hope Rick wasn't doing anything with that tree. I thought I was weird, but Rick is clearly a very big weirdo. I mean, we kind of clocked that in season five, but I think Rick is one of those people that are weird and we just got to accept it and move on. Huh. Enough chit chat, Birch. Let's talk face. Stepan, mm. <laughs> Lola's winning. Come here. <laughs> I guess everyone's doing it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> of course she's going for... I mean, no, she's not going for him given that he has a big dick, apparently. She's going for him given the fact that they're all hooking up. I mean, I'm just saying the obvious. I feel like it would be awkward given that everyone's Pretend we're not him. surrounded. Exactly, yeah. Out of the way, Dr. Oh, sicko! That's not nice. You just bust into someone's house and call them a sicko. Come on. Oh, no. There was no vibe in there. There is now a romantic vibe and now Andrew's dad's gonna mess it up. For a second I was really about to support the idea of a bunch of children hooking up. I don't really support it but in the same breath we have experiences and just because I'm a late bloomer doesn't mean it's not a thing for 13 and 14 year olds to be kissing. I don't like this this Rick kissing a tree situation. I'd rather him talking about wanting to kill Nick. <laughs> Dad kissing a tree. I really wanted to front someone. I wanted a rebound hookup, but I could do so much better. You know that, right? Better than Nick. Oh, wow, that's so mean. Uh, you could do better? No, yes. that feels hollow. Please just let us take our pervert and go home. That's it, Birch. Your penis or your dog. Imagine your own parent is calling you a pervert. Okay, get your checkbook out, Mr. Gear. Oh, no. God, this is... They are both a bunch of oddballs for this, man. This is obviously a kink that exists, but... My God, Andrew, ugh. I mean, I guess I prefer this in you touching yourself 24-7. Disgusting, son! Oh, oh, shit, my mommy and daddy are here! <laughs> so first, they walk in on him squeezing his man boobs with Bernie, and now this... Yikes, he's not having a very good first episode of season six. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh no, that's for my humiliation at its finest. Sweetie, you make a beautiful sex worker. Thank you, Dr. Bear. Okay. Coming from your friend's dad, it's just... Eesh. Oh, can we please go to your house? Yes. Yes, we can. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's better than being in a room with a bunch of kissing children. By the way, the reason I'm saying children is because I don't agree with saying kids. A kid is a baby goat. It's not, not A child is a child, a kid is a baby goat. I know it's slang, but I'd prefer to be technically correct. Wait, wait a minute. He was a church? Church? Oh, he's a wow, church boy. That's good. Really oh, come on. Don't. Come on. Come on. You don't need to make religion horny as well. Come on. Just leave religion alone. Hello. Of course, the magic man, right? Wow, Mr. and Mrs. Matthew, your family looks like a commercial for happy. It really does. It's just nice blue across on the wall, a smiling dad, a lovely blonde mum. Okay, this is starting to sound a bit. Mm. He's my. Yes. He's my boyfriend. Oh, <laughs> well, that's yeah, great. My mum coming to terms <laughs> with her son's sexuality. And then her son's boyfriend. I mean, did she not know about him and Aiden? Oh, a bit surprised given that they were going out for a little while. But yeah, she's going to have to come to grass with Matthew's relationship with Jay. Even if Jay is a bit of a wild one. It's better to love her son and accept the situation than to hate him or anything because of it. I guess I'm just so super fine with everything. <laughs> uh, Matthew, your mother... And yeah, she's nervous. Oh yeah, Will and Grace, they're so funny. <laughs> I've never seen that show before. <clears throat> A police officer, Jay. Well, I promise to protect and serve all of your son's holes. Okay, that's a bit much for his parents to hear. I'll get some ice cream for my son and his boyfriend. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> I personally think that went about as well as it could have. It's weird doing a live reaction to this because like, I'm seeing stuff for the first time and also commentating on it whilst I'm doing that. Like, I can understand some reactors 
wanting to watch an episode before they react to it because then they've got an idea of what they're watching rather than just watching something fresh. I think you're right. You know, boss, I would kiss Tay Diggs. Sir, I would watch that. Who's Tay Diggs? It still counts as a hookup, right, dude? No. Yeah, I mean, you kissed Lola. A bunch of people came to your house and started kissing. It is a hookup. It's not the amount of people you hook up with that makes you a man. It's how much steak you can eat in one city. How is that related? Wait, is that... <laughs> Is it me? I didn't even... I wasn't looking at the tree as a person before, but now... <laughs> Why am I seeing the Grinch? Oh, hey, Bernie. Hey, Andrew. Did you see it when I fell down a flight of stairs? <laughs> oh, I think she actually gets turned on by that sort of thing. Farting all the way? Yeah, someone held up the iPad so I could see. And I guess now you want nothing to do with me? Uh no, she probably is more interested in you than she's ever been. Like, come on, you're a, you're a mess, and she loves... What a mess you are. Oh, please. If I had a dime for every time I tumble tooted, I'd be able to cancel everyone's student debt. Andrew, this girl seems to <laughs> like you for who you really are. I know, this is unprecedented. How the hell is this 27 minutes and the reaction's 54 minutes? Hmm. I think next time I watch an episode, I gotta do less pausing and just watch it and then say what I'm saying in the moment. Or write it down, maybe? I don't know. Hey, Bernie, do you think maybe you might want to be my girlfriend? <laughs> oh, she's asking him, her out. Oh. Oh. I find that really sweet. I fart every time I pull up my socks? God, I... <laughs> oh, that's sweet. I hope so. I do, Andrew. Every time. <laughs> oh, this is <laughs> nice. <gasps> ooh, ooh, the baby. It's jerking up. Uh, okay. <laughs> I expect him to say it's kicking by his big mouth, and it's Maury. What else did I expect? Andrew, uh, put your hand on my belly. <laughs> you know what? Never mind. Oh, you finished, didn't you? It's a baby. Like, come on. I know it's big mouth, but I expected the baby to develop normally, not to be jerking off before it's even fully developed. Yeah, I guess we both need a cigarette now. <laughs> Welcome to I was a little bit, obviously, out of my mind. Because recently my dog did pass away, which has been on my mind a little bit. But, you know, the one of season six came out and I wanted to see what it was all about. And I can't say I'm that disappointed. Uh, if you want, I mean, I might, I'm probably going to do reactions to the rest of the um, season anyway. But let me know if, let me know if you want reactions. Because if you want me to continue the rest of this season, then I will. And even if you don't, I probably would as well. So there's a new student who's asexual. Cool. Jay and Matthew are now together and they're in a happy gay relationship. Cool. Bernie and Andrew are talking to each other after the whole skiing trip. And they're dating now, which is cute. Like, they're 13 and 14 and they're boyfriend and girlfriend. That's really sweet. I find it. I'm happy for him and her. They deserve each other. Andrew, he's gonna, he's never gonna stop getting humiliated enough by his parents though. But at least he just remains his true self. Jesse needs to get over her whole fixation with Judd. Uh, Nick, Nick, what can I say about Nick? Nick is just, you know, he's. I mean, he had a hookup thing in his attic. I think he's just. I think he's a bit of a lone wolf as well, you know, but I don't know. I don't think we've seen I don't there isn't too much to say about Nick, you know. This this uh, like tell me what what how what there is to say about Nick in this episode, you know. He's <laughs> he had abs in the fantasy which was quite funny. Oh yeah, he kissed Lola. Yeah. Yeah, I never saw that coming, but yeah, they kissed. Um Maury's pregnant. I want to see him give birth to that baby because I just want to see what that baby... I just want to see... I want to see Maury as a father and Connie as a mum and see how the baby looks and sounds, etc. Uh, what else? I don't know if... Like, I don't know if they're going to focus on Matthew's mum coming to terms with the fact that her son is gay and that he is in a relationship, but eh, we'll see. And, um, oh, yeah. Jesse's... There's probably going to be an episode where Caitlyn gives birth to her baby and... Jessie's going to be introduced to her sister. And, yeah, I mean, what else is there to say? Yeah, so, oh yeah, also, the fact that there's that character who I know is asexual, 
I'd like to see how Missy is going to keep trying to attract him and once she finally finds out that he's asexual I really want them to have like a really like nice platonic relationship and yeah if there's anything else I missed then please let me know in the comments